which I don't really care about. No, 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 no. You were rude to me. Yes, Louise. Okay, I'm done talking to you. Fine. In today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at an episode from America's Next Top Model where one of the models gets into a fight with one of the judges. So you guys told me to check this out. You guys said it was crazy, the confrontation, the argument that they had. We're going to be taking a look at that plus the photo shoot from this episode. So let's take a look and see what they made the girls do this time. Hi. Hiya. Well, good morning, good morning. You know that when they say good morning... It's not about to be. By being in charge of your own photo shoot. You guys are in the driver's seat today, so you control everything. Good luck. All right, why don't you guys head over there? Okay, so the premise for this photo shoot is the models have to be in charge of the whole photo shoot. Props, let's go with me. It's going to be a very strong shoot. It's punk left, so it's a strong look. I mean, it's very royal, so I want everything to come together as it's supposed to. Oh. Leather jacket. Okay, so this... Our theme for the British shoot is mod 60s with a modern twist. We've got no crazy backgrounds, no crazy pops. It's all about us. Oh, ladies. Okay, so it looks like they actually have to create an entire set and be an interior designer, creative director, set designer. Is that the same thing? Art, what is it? Art, creative, art, art, whatever. What is it? What? I don't even know what I'm saying, but they have to basically be a lot of things. Okay, this is, but it's it's a very interesting concept, actually. I think this will be really fun for the girls to be able to express themselves. So let's see what they come up with. They have two hours to get everything, everything done. done. Okay. What has your cover girl makeup on this shoot? But sometimes you can have a strong eye and a strong lip. I mean, the image is hunky. Kelly's over there, like I know. We told you this is your you're picking everything, but at the same time. You know, elimination's coming up. You might want to put a little bit more eyeshadow right there. Yeah. I'm just saying, I'm just, I'm just passing by. Just my advice to you. And it's showtime. Okay. Candice, she's got a brilliant face, but it's the same face in every single photo. It's that stern Naomi Campbell, I'm about to throw a phone at you face. You look like you're hot, you're miserable, you're tired. We need to bring the shot alive. She has a whole crowd they're staring intensely at her probably is a lot of pressure and you know there's going to be comments that are made and it might not be easy to handle that with a crowd of people silently judging you <laughs> not to be rude but is that the reinvention carefree you said punk rock you know when someone says not to be rude they're about to be rude Mr. J's like, I told you that you were hot and you looked miserable and yet you didn't take that and improve? I don't even, why am I even here? Why? Well, because, well, Tyra is making me stay here, actually. They just were all confused and I didn't get I know a lot about punk fashion. I've represented almost all those top English brands. To me, it's like punk is just like, it's this clean, cool rock and roll. We get a little advice from Kelly about what punk rock is. I don't know anything about anything. Except Pokemon asked me a hundred original 150 though. Past that, I don't I couldn't tell you. I'm just saying I was um uh, I was the leader of many gyms. Pokemon yellow. You're not us drugs. This is, you know, a fashion shoot. Let's not look dead. Why say that to a professional model that you're working with in an impression and in a and in a and a professional I can't talk anymore. Slow it down, slow it down. Tell the clothes on your body. What? It's very abrasive critique. It's not constructive. You can give critique and be nice. But they just always gotta yell at this random stuff. I thought Ebony was doing an amazing job. She's giving a variety of poses. She's very fluid in her movements, which photographers love. You can get so many different photos from while well, models are doing that. 
I thought she was doing a great job. You've literally got two hours to get six girls in hair and makeup and shoe. It's almost like impossible. That's just not going to happen. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. I really don't know. And Leaf is bipolar today. I don't know what is wrong with her. I think she was confused. She didn't know whether to concentrate on herself or like her teammates. So you want to like cover her a little bit? Oh, that's not my job to put down the pieces. Everyone keeps coming to me thinking that I'm the leader. I'm the one that's on set. I'm the one that's dressing the girls. So I'm running around like a blue ass fly. Just FYI, you're really running out of time. We're not even done one shot. Okay, so I'm guessing that one of the one of the models has to be the team leader. Why would they make one of the girls be the team leader and then they also have to model? Like, do you? I don't get why one person has that responsibility. What is the creative director doing then? You have all these people on set from production and not one person can just kind of facilitate. Again, we have these roles that they place the girls in to set them up for failure at times. That's what I feel like. This role, kind of unnecessary. It's a way for them to kind of pin the blame on one person and use that person as the scapegoat. Oh, well, your team didn't do good because of that one person. It creates a target. And then they start feeling the tension from the other girls if they end up losing, if that team ends up losing. So to me, this is exactly the dynamic that I'm seeing. Why do they have a team leader for this photo shoot? Mr. J's right there. Have him be the team leader. Why does she have to worry about other girls' hair and makeup and all that stuff? For what? She has to do her own. She has to get ready herself and also pose. So I don't think that it's fair. Just, just my opinion. Let's have a chin up a little bit. Hey, Ashley. Have you guys discussed what you're doing with this, or? And Kendo. Well, I was having to keep from Kendo starting. Can you come forward? Because King Kong is now a gardener. He does it on the weekends. You know, he's tired from out there and doing whatever. I don't even know what he's doing these days. What He's stomping all over things. And he's like, you know what? I got to go check on those ja the jasmine plant. Make sure it's growing well. It's healthy. Yeah, let's go do that. King Kong. King Kong's garden. <laughs> it's like so random. You guys gave them the props. You, t you told them to pick out the stuff. And now you're just criticizing them on set. Like, are you a Godzilla fan? Is that why you said the King Kong thing? Like, did you watch the movie and were mad? Or... I don't even know who won to be. I didn't spoil anything. I don't know. <laughs> Can you come forward? Okay. Overall, I'm not really wowed here yet. There's something lacking. This, <laughs> this is the first person. They didn't even start. Like, they literally called up the first model. Two minutes and you got... Can we have a team meeting here? I, I just have to let you guys know. I know we just started. I absolutely hate everything that's going on. Okay, so you need to. Ch I know we have fifteen more people, but I'm just right now. I'm I'm unhappy. So you need to fix this. There's something lacking. This flat against the brick wall. What can you do to fix this? Should we put the chair in? Let's do that now then. And I think that the British girls, with Annalise as their leader, first of all, she's a nervous rack. And we know everything flows downstream, right? So that's just going to be translated over to her team. I already see this narrative taking shape. Oh, Annalise, you know, she should have been the team leader. She's a nervous wreck. Now I feel like they're setting her up here. Could it be Annalise, the one that gets into the fight? Let's see. Annalise also has to model as well. She's a part of this photo shoot. I don't know why they would expect a model to be in charge of like 15 other girls when she also has to be part of the project. I would say if she's going to be a team leader, fine. But then have that be her role and don't expect her to also divvy up her time between modeling in the project, creative directing, and f setting up everything and planning everything. I don't think that's fair. Next item. Are you married to the idea of that rose? Because that rose, it doesn't make sense why you might have it in your hand. You can always lose the rose halfway through. If I were you, I would do one with it, one without it. I was like, okay, I'm screwing up as a leader here. I've got to put out a good shot here, otherwise I am going home. I love that. Very direct, to the point. We don't, basically, like, we don't need it. Just tell me if you don't want this in there. I love that. And then, you know, Kelly was like, okay, do one shot with it, one shot without. I think that's awesome. That's 
that's that's it that's very simple I just feel a lot of pressure on her for, to be the team again this team leader and then now she has to model at the same time and still have a good photo why she has all these responsibilities I'm not sure there's like 15 people from America's Next Top Model they're like Kelly's just walking around like Kelly can't you be their team leader just be the team leader what about Mr. J he's looking at the have him lead something <laughs> have him do something have him help out a little bit just go for it. Go again, baby. And you're going to have to do a lot of these jumping ones to get the right shot. That's what happens when you commit to this. So Annalise is supposed to be excited to buy, which means she can sell ice to an Eskimo. Well, let me tell you, I wasn't buying it. I think you're being far too methodical about it. I mean, it's literally, Annalise was really insecure about her own modeling skills. And that, to me, really showed itself in her photo shoot. She was doing great. It's a lot of assumptions made. Oh, she's insecure. Oh, she's this. She's that. Their models are doing a great job. All they need is encouragement and some positivity and some good feedback. And they will do amazing. And they were. They were all doing great. I see Louise go dashing across the set, flying, running. And when you see people running around, it just creates total chaos. Because I was getting coming to Michael. Well, you just got a bit much when I'm running around and then I get in trouble for it. And it's just making me angry. But the best thing I can do is just shut up. Are you listening yeah, to I'm just... Who, like, who... Excuse me? Don't you have something to do, Kelly? Go, go... Don't you have roses to go and criticize? Like, what? So she can't... You're, you're mad at her because she's running? She wants to be efficient. I bet you, had she been taking a stroll walking... Oh, well, you know, she's taking her time. They would have criticized her for taking her time. She's trying to run and get things done because they are on a time limit. They literally have like eight minutes left. And Kelly is pointing out something so irrelevant. Like, who cares if she's running or not? Like, who is that bothering? I feel like Kelly's kind of antagonizing right now. To wait, She's probably trying to waste the model's time in order for her to have less time during the photo shoot so that they can criticize her during the judging. That is what I'm guessing. Yeah, I'm just... Okay, so when you're on the set, try to stay calm and composed and not do a lot of running around, okay? Okay. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Come on, you're going to... For, for running? Th she's trying to stay healthy, okay? We can't... Come on, I need to start running more. She's an... Insp Louise is an inspiration to me. Kelly's like, man, we got like eight minutes left of this shoe. Come on, like we got to spice things up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, so approximately 12.48, I saw Louise. She was running oh, just a little bit. I think we, want me to mention it? Okay, I'm on it. Louise, okay, listen here, okay? This is a professional environment. Yeah, yeah, I've been roasting you guys behind the scenes. So it does not matter. Now you're running right now. It's distracting all of us. It's creating this chaos. Even though there's literally a thousand pieces of individual equipment here spread out across the place. And we just have people going every which way. There's literally like 500 people in production right now videotaping you running to try to keep up with you guys. That, that is not chaotic, but what you are doing. Try, you know, you're trying to make it in time. To, you're trying to run from place to place? Come on now. Now I'm going to give you a warning here. But not before I write you up a ticket, okay? You know, you, you can go to court if you want. <laughs> okay, thanks. Thank you. Louise has one of the worst attitudes that I've ever seen for a young woman who's in the middle of a competition. All right. <laughs> Kelly, Kelly. Kelly, how you to... Why did I just say that in your back? Kelly. Kelly. <laughs> you could be nicer. Let's, come on, let's be honest with ourselves here. Me and you, okay? Louise does not have a bad attitude, She's just annoying. I just have to tell you something. She's annoyed by you. You're kind of annoying. I'm just saying. That. I'm just saying. Right, Perfect. Gorgeous. Louise was clearly very upset. But I think at the same time, that anger and that adrenaline forced her to get to a place where she thought, you know what? I'm just going to show them. Push it. Fantastic. Gorgeous. As you are. She's not even thinking about it. And look, she looks like a friggin' supermodel. Like, look how hot that is. I swear to God, I do not cry. I do not cry, but our face are running down. 
It was a happiness that this is over. It was just all just release. And it's very telling. Who has what it takes to pull it through in two minutes? So um, we have Mr. J here, very supportive, uplifting, giving out the compliments. And then we have Kelly here in the back. Kelly, you going to say something nice? A little something? A little compliment? Like a good, maybe a good job? Maybe? Let's see. I, like, I literally doubt it. I literally doubt it. She said, I'm probably going to be like, well, I was in King Kong's garden this evening. He sends his uh, best wishes to you. Do you know him? He was in the movie with Godzilla. I'm, yeah, I'm name dropping. Who cares? In two minutes. It's a great shot. Good job. Good job. You were the leader? I must admit, I don't think I did a very good job, but I've got an amazing team behind me. Like, she was literally running around with everybody else's clothes. And going, ah! Oh, so she was running around too, but you had no problem with that, but you want to get at Louise for running around? So you're, this is selective are you arguing, okay. So you got to have the same energy for everybody. Like, if you don't, if you, I'm not trying to call out Annalise, I love her, but if you're trying to call out one model, you got to have the same energy for all the other models. Just saying. Are you ready to see your, I think that was a bad leader, but I'm not sure, shot. Let's see it. There it is. You took a big risk by choosing to do the lead. Hmm. The cropping, I don't know why they cropped it so close to her head. I would have at least had a little bit more space up top. They kind of, the, the crop is very weird. The composition is weird. I would have liked it to be zoomed out just a little bit more. Uh, the the pose itself, it's okay. I would have preferred another jumping shot. I know she was doing a lot of different jumping shots. <gasps> love. I love Sophie. I just, I love her. Like, what, she's, uh, this is amazing. I love her. I love the pose. Love the colors. Love the toning. Lighting is great. A plus. Good job, Sophie. Lighting's cool. I like the background. I love textured backgrounds like this. Okay, the guy in the back. You could, uh, maybe he's, I don't know. It just looks like he's lounging. He's watching TV back there or something. This, this one's, this one's a weird shot for me. I would have loved to have seen her do something more dynamic with her posing. Maybe do something even to the side where she's kind of leaning on this, uh, this bar right here, pole, whatever it is. I don't know why they're posing with, like with guys. I don't know what the con why that concept was. I mean, I think she did a good job, but it's just maybe I missed that part of the photo shoot. Why? Who are these? Who are these guys? I don't know. So now I can do better than that. You know, standing in front of us, you have everything that it takes. All right. Thank you, Alicia. Thank you. Up next, Louise. Hello, Louise. Hello. Okay, here is your best shot that you chose. Love how Tyra makes it known. You you picked this. I love the light in this photo. I think Louise looks great. Background is amazing. I would have at least just straightened it up right here by the lines. They could have just done that. But you look strong. You look tough, but you're very mean. 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 <laughs> oh, I can't win. I think you need to put some gratitude in your attitude, girl. I know you shake your head a lot, you disagree a lot, you know, that, that it's also potentially good when you are being critiqued to take it in with charm. My experience with you on the set was you were very condescending and rude to me, which no, I don't no, really no, care no, about. No, 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 you were rude to me. Yes, Louise. Okay, I'm done talking to you now. Fine. You just have a problem with authority. I don't do well with rude people. You are a model. This is a publicist. I hate the fact that they frame everything around the model accepting whatever they want. They have to just be silent. They can't speak up. They can't defend themselves. If they defend themselves or speak up, they're being problematic. What? What? If someone's being disrespectful, you speak up, okay? I don't care if they're a photographer, creative director, director, publicist. Speak up. Don't let somebody disrespect you. Louise, good for you, girl. Good for you. Do you understand? There is a rank. I'm giving you a very tough lesson in how to get your career to the next level. I think it's so important, Louise. It's one of the best things you can possibly do because... <laughs> the fact that Tyra brings up ranking as if one person is beneath somebody else because they're a model, don't agree with that. What do you guys think in the comments? 
look, I'm all for people being respectful. I think that is number one. You should be respectful on a photo shoot, but it goes both ways. You don't have immunity because you are a publicist or because you're a photographer. I'm actually shaking. Why are you shaking your head? Please, no. No, get out of my way. It's okay, I didn't watch the I didn't watch the full episodes by the way I'm only watching the photo shoots I don't know what else goes on and how Louise really is but what I'm seeing so far is that she's someone who's just been antagonized and poked at and she just kind of had enough I need to go home I want to go home <laughs> Wait, what the hell is going on Louise has decided to leave the competition on America's Next Top Model, we like to think that our criticism is constructive, although very tough, but it's not for everyone. They say a lot of things on this show, and a lot of it's not constructive. I'm just going to tell you that. I'm a professional photographer. I've been working with professional models and agencies for years. None of this is constructive, really. A lot of it's not constructive. Nigel was like, oh, you're mean. What did she say? You look mean or you, you're mean? How is, tell me how that's constructive. I feel that your leadership gave them a really strong edge um, as a team. As Marie, this is androgenia to the max. You did it. All right, thanks. Okay, next is Kyle. Lighting on this one, I do not like. It's very, like, it's kind of overexposed on her face here. You can see. Yeah, lighting is not good on this one. The pictures, I don't necessarily like her jumping like that and then what's I don't know what he's doing in the back he's like he's taking a stroll he went for a walk oh Simone is so beautiful love this my one critique is she could have brought this arm out right here and created more shape so her arms kind of like hidden behind uh her leg here so maybe just bring it out a little bit do something with this other arm creates more shape. I don't think it's the most amazing shot. I really want you to start to own your body. For me, it's just a bit too mature. Oh, I don't know if that would alienate the typical black. I want girls that are fiercely grown to see like an overly sexualized version of themselves and be like, well, <gasps> all right, thank you. Laura. So weird. <laughs> wow, love this. Love the energy. Where's her other arm though? Where's her other arm? As usual, Ebony did an amazing job. I absolutely love this photo. She, I love the fact that she's using the frame of the doorway to kind of place her body. She's using the things around her. Um, she did amazing. Okay, like why are these guys, what's the point of the guys in the back? Like I just don't know. What is he doing? Is he like checking the time? Is he, is he updating his profile picture on Facebook? I don't know. The lighting on this one I don't like. It's overhead as you notice here and it's creating this shadow that's covering up her neck. You guys see that right there? Don't like the lighting. Okay, so let's see who goes home. Is Louise coming back maybe? The client decided that your four photos are not worthy of their that's a, Okay, that's a little messed up. It's a little harsh. Four of you are still in the running towards becoming America's Next Top Model. Okay, that's great. Okay. One thing that you all four is being able to, to just accept whatever we say to you. Oh, to, oh, critique. Okay. Really? Okay. Congratulations. We get to roast you guys another day. Okay. For me to walk off and walk away from something is like a big deal. To stand in front of someone and have them rip you down, that's not me. I'm really proud of my decision. I'm yes. To see my mum and like I said, everyone who knows me will just sit there and say, "Look, you you did it, and like you stayed true to yourself." Yes, absolutely. Yes, Louise, you made the right decision, girl. Let me tell you, 
and I respect you and I support your decision 1000%. King Kong would be very upset with your behavior today, Kelly.